Hi, I'm Anna. I am a fluid artist and I appreciate you stopping by today to my little art corner here. Today I'm going to be making another resin tray and I've got a bit of rose gold coloring. I've split up my clear resin into some cups for the different colors. And I'm going to use a pearl, which is, looks fairly white. One of the cups has just the pearl mica powder in it, and the other one has some of the pearl mica powder for shimmer and also some white pigment to give it a very opaque white. So there I am mixing up the rose gold resin, and that I colored with some rose gold metallic craft paint, which is a little bit transparent. Bring on the white here and I did leave a cup of clear resin as well because I want a bit of the tray wood to show through this design. I'll list all the materials I used in the description below including the brand of the resin and um, other supplies. So I put that kind of the pearl mica powder shimmery color in the middle and there's the transparent rose gold. I just had a little bit of that because I want it to be mostly white. And now I'm going in with the heat gun. This has different functions, blending the resin and popping air bubbles. And then uh, the palette knife here to swirl the design. Just a little tip, uh, your tools such as your palette knife or if you see in one of the cups I have a silicone mixing stick. Um, just as soon as you're done using them with resin, if you take some um, rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and wipe them off right away, it'll completely clean off the resin so you can continue to use those each time. Okay, now just going in with the torch, popping more air bubbles, picking out little um, hairs or imperfections. You want the surface of the resin to be really glass smooth. And voila, I must not have um, filmed the adding of the crushed glass, but there I just sprinkled on some crushed glass and I'm making some little tweaks. And placing a box over the top so that no dust falls in it while it's curing. Okay, now here we are on probably the next day, the resin's all hardened and I'm adding gold leaf over the top. And I have a video on my channel about how to apply gold leaf and just all my different tips and tricks. And so if you are interested in that, you can, um, I'll link that below as well. Okay, so there is the gold leaf design and I'm just vacuuming up all the excess gold flakes. Now it's time for the final top coat of resin. Clear resin over the top. And obviously I speed up these videos. The process um, of creating one of these trays takes about, um, about an hour for the first pour, about an hour for the gold leafing, and then um, a half hour to an hour for the final covering. And it's usually over the course of two or three days. And this was a finished tray. I love this one. And the client was really happy with it. It's mostly white, but it's got a little bit of that, um, just a little touch of rose gold and just kind of a little bit of shimmer. Very elegant with the gold leaf and the crushed glass. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up and feel free to comment below. Subscribe for more videos. Take care. God bless. Thanks for watching.